Hi guys and welcome back to Mums and Melanin. I'm Ayola. I'm Debbie. I'm Takoni. And I'm Tukumba. And as you may or may not know, April is Limb Difference Awareness Month. So in light of that, we've brought a video to you about limb difference. Tukumba, do you want to take it away? Yeah. Um, so I'll kind of take it back to 2018. So I, um, obviously I was pregnant with Roman. I got mm. pregnant around May, April, yeah, April, May. Um, and the pregnancy, it was okay. Do you know what I mean? Like I was, I was carrying, carrying a bit small, but obviously first pregnancy, everybody says mm -hmm. they're yeah. meant to be small. Um, so I went for my 20 week scan and they said that he's quite small. Um, he's kind of tracking behind. So they're going to refer me over to fetal medicine. Mm -hmm. So with that, you know, I get seen by a consultant mm -hmm. and they'll kind of check the scans going forward. So I had a couple scans again, they were, they were doing all right. Um, I guess during the pregnancy, you're kind of hoping, mm. you're praying, you're kind of, I mean, seeing how things would go. Mm. I went to, um, I went to Zanzibar, Tanzania, yeah. out of another couple, kind of like a baby moon. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I had a good time out there. Um, we hadn't decided his name, but um, we had uh, a Bible passage that we felt was quite relevant for him. So I got it made in Zanzibar on a plaque. So it's Romans 8.28, like it's, it's like Romans 8 is like one of my like favourite chapters in the Bible and my husband liked the passage, I like the passage mm. and it's like all things work together for the good of those who love God, do you yeah. know what I mean? According, according to his purpose. So we got that made and then um, a few weeks later I went for another scan. So I was back in London. This was maybe about 28 weeks mm. and during this scan the consultant was like, oh, I think there's something wrong with his hand. Mm. And I was like, you know, you didn't expect to hear that, do you yeah, know what I mean? So like, I was on the bed, I'm relying on the bed, and I'm not like a kind of, um, I don't like kind of cry uncontrollably, it's not really me, mm. but like literally tears were just like streaming down, because I was like, it's yeah. it? I streamed the ultrasounds. So and we sit up, and obviously my husband was there, he's just like, okay, and she's just like, yeah, I can't exactly see what it is, but I know there's something different about it. Um, She's like, um, I can put you in touch with um, Great Ormond Street Hospital. They work with children. Um, we can maybe see what's to come and see how they can help. Um, she then starts talking about, you know, she then starts talking about someone dancing with the stars oh that had God. like something. So she was like, oh, you know, you can see them. Look, what the great things they're doing. They're dancing. Mm. So she's like, okay, fine. Um, and then she was like, to be honest, though he's got the limb difference, he's also still tracking behind. So there's a, there's a possibility we may need to bring him out early. So she was like, okay, just to prepare you as well, come and see the NICU. So when you say tracking behind, you mean in terms of weight or size? Size, like both, I think. Yeah. So I guess they kind of do it together, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Let's say weight, let's say, yeah. How he's measuring, he's measuring a bit small. Yeah. So she's like, so on top of that, she's like, okay, we're at Street Hospital. On top of that, there's a limb difference you need to look into. On top of that, let's go down to the NICU. I'll put you in touch with the pediatrician and the NICU nurses to take a tour because wow. you may end up paying wow. that kind of thing. So we go down there. Is this all in one day? Or in the same conversation? And what month of was this? this? I was about 28 weeks. Wow. It's a lot to take. It's a lot, it it's a lot. So, okay. But I understand where she's coming from. Do you know what I mean? She's just trying to prepare me. Mm. So then we go down to NICU, we speak to the nurses, the show us this, give us a tour. In that moment me. though, it must have been a bit. It was a lot, but what can we do in it? Let me know mm. now what, what's gonna happen, what, what my future could look yeah. like, isn't it? So, um, so um I booked then after that I book a um I don't think I told anyone, I booked a, a private scan. We must went for the private scan again. It was similar, they were like, yeah, there's something with his hands, is there XYZ. Fine. Um and then um we started praying, isn't it? Do you know what mm. I mean? Like we we're praying with um yeah. Sadiq husband like and you're praying but ultimately when you pray your the caveat is always let your will be done isn't it yeah. do you know what i mean so like whatever god wants let, let, let it happen isn't it so we're praying we're praying and then 36 weeks he's still tracking behind so they're like okay we need to schedule a cesarean and we need to have him he's going to be about two kg in size so um he's born and yeah as she said his hand was different so on his um right hand he has five fingers, like just, just like my hands. On his left hand, he has one digit. So it's a thumb. So the, the hand is kind of cut short down and it's just a thumb. Um, so it was a shock, but then obviously we were kind of prepared beforehand. Mm. So this is my little boy. Um, some people I told beforehand, but a lot of people I hadn't told. Mm. People came to the hospital to visit him. And kind of before they kind of get to the cot, I'm like, yeah. By the way, I'm, trying to prepare yeah, them. Yeah, I had this conversation with everybody. And some people, it was just like, and I'm telling them, you can kind of see their heartbreak. Wow. Because obviously it's a shock, isn't it? Yeah. Like my child is their child, you know what I mean? Yeah. As I'm telling them, there's tears coming from their eyes. I'm telling them, 
they like most of the guys I told like they were just kind of a bit emotionless. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, everybody needs to know now. Mm. This is my son. Everybody needs to know. So, um, but from the moment he was born, in my eyes, he was perfect. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like I trust God. Like he has everything he needs for his life. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like we had the passage before we knew, yeah. but that's the passage for him. Do you mm. know what I mean? That's our word over him. Like all things are working together mm. for his good. Like mm. do you know what I mean? Like there's nothing. <laughs> literally. <laughs> so literally. yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. Like there's nothing. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like this was. This was purpose, and there's gonna be. And I always kind of felt that just as Deborah was talking about Kiana, there's great purpose to this. I don't know what yeah. it is. We don't yeah. know. We haven't seen yeah. it yet. But it's gonna be purposeful mm. in the future. Do you know what I mean? So, um, cool. So we had him. Um, the internet, yeah. The mm. power of community is just too good. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't know people do with any limb differences. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you'd think that oh, it's just me alone. Like, yeah. But then there's Instagram, and then there's um, there's um, a page called the Lucky Thing project like they're like a charity and they post like different kids different limb differences so um i don't know you may have like a few fingers that are not there or you may have it cut them um, just just they may have a nut at the elbow or at the wrist or mm. arms or legs whatever do you know what i mean but they post a lot of sort of upper limb differences um on their page and you're so encouraging to read the stories you have adults kind of talking about the hurdles they have to overcome mm. teens people with mm. children like it's a mixed bag yeah so they have a hashtag called 10 fingers are overrated because mm. okay you've got 10 but do you need all 10 do you know what i mean six you get yeah. one so um i was using the hashtag for my son and another mum dm me Mm. And she was just like, oh, like, I've seen your son, da, 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 da. like, oh, this, this is, this is my, me and my daughter, um, we live here, this is what we're going through, mm-hmm. talking. she was like, oh, so she was like, oh, um, have you seen any plastic surgeons yet? And I was like, oh, we're scheduled to meet plastic surgeons at Great Ormond Street. So we were just talking, she was like, oh, this plastic surgeon is really good, mm-hmm. you know, don't hesitate to get a second opinion, mm-hmm. she has to for her son. So it just, it just filled me with confidence, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, again, I didn't know anybody, you know yeah. what I mean? So honestly, Jen... You're amazing. Like Aww. the fact that she DM'd me and reached out to me, we're so cool now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It was honestly a godsend. And then um the doctors also told me about a charity could reach. So I guess it's like the equivalent, because that page is an American page, mm-hmm. but it's like the equivalent like in the UK. So she's right. a charity, she's also part of it, and we're part of it. Um and it's just good that like, we go to events, they do like events in North London, South London, all over the UK. But again, you go to these events, speak to the other parents. Mm. It's like a common ground. Yeah. You know, it's people that you may never have met otherwise. Yeah. But our children have this in common. Yeah. No one gets to play with other kids yeah. that have differences. He doesn't feel like he's the only one. Yeah. Like, I get to meet other parents. Like yeah. you, know, you can break off, you can organise play dates. Yeah. You've now got a group of people, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm. That are going through what you're going through. Like it's so funny because um, so I mentioned Roman. So his hand, his um, he's got one 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 digit on his left hand. But also his toes are joined together on his right foot. So I was talking to like um a parent, and I was like, yeah, he's got two limb differences. She's like, well, my child has three limb differences. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just nice. Do you know what I mean? Like, because obviously people try and understand, but until you're in the shoes, you, you can't be the fully, same. Yeah. So it's just good to kind of have those conversations with other mm. parents so yeah i would say like if if there's anything whether it be sickle cell or just anything mm. autism whatever community is so important yeah and just so that you know it's not yeah. just you alone yeah so um yeah so she told me so okay speaking to jen in dms she kind of prepped me about um plastic surgery and going to those appointments since roman's been young we've been going to plastic appointments for him um they're, they're always kind of they're, I want to say they've given a range of options, but since birth, they've sort of said that our option with him would be to have a toe to hand transfer. So that would be to transfer his second toe onto his hand. Um, so then he would have two fingers. And I guess the the best outcome would be like a pizza grip mm. like this, mm. so that he can maybe open buttons or hold cutlery or tie his shoes and stuff like that. So we've been going to appointments um, since he's been born, maybe like every six months, they're just sort of been tracking his development, seeing if he's a good candidate, because mm. it depends how his how his fingers functioning and so on. Um, but it's been it's been I, I don't want to say it's been easy because it's like your mind can overthink. Yeah. So when he was born, I knew that he'd be perfect, but it didn't stop me from being scared. Mm. Like when uh, he's coming up to three months, can he roll over or can he not roll over? Like mm. does his hand hurt? We don't. Mm. We didn't know. Like, is it gonna hurt? Because you know that kind of roll, you kind of have to balance and then do you know what i mean but three months he was rolling over mm. okay we got there 
six months he's sitting up mm. we got there mm. eight months he's crawling because mm. again like i wasn't sure if one arm was a bit shorter how was that gonna go mm. eight months he was crawling 13 months he was walking mm. do you know what i mean like mm. i think at every turn he surprised me yeah. he doesn't stop the fears from coming because yeah. obviously your mind kind of races but do you know what I mean? I, I know he's going to get there. Yeah. Like, I think, um, I was talking to another parent two weeks ago and her son um, has a hand quite similar to Roman. She did the transfer, so we were kind of talking about the procedure. And um, she was just saying that as they get older, the challenges just become very, like, it becomes more intense. So she was mm. like, um, with her boy, it was holding cutlery. Mm. And it just broke her heart. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not, it's his fault. That, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, okay, like, what, what does this look like? What tools can we use? So they told me about a tool they use um, so you can kind of strap the cutlery to his hand. Like, but it's just, she's like, the conversation's become difficult. She was telling me that how, I think he had like a time test in the school to cut something. But obviously, because of his limb difference, it's a bit difficult. So he came home in tears. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's now exploring like, why he's, why he's different from other people. It's just, it's, it's a lot, do you know what I mean? I think yeah. I, I already now, I've already got talk tracks. My son's three years old, but I've already thought of what I'm going to tell him, do you know what mm. I mean? And I can't help it because that's just my personality type. And as time goes on, I get information, he grows. Hopefully I'll refine that so that I can give him the perfect words when we cross those bridges. Mm. But all I can do is prepare, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm, like, in case anybody wants to step, He'll be in martial arts. If you see my boy, don't try him. Because he will be <laughs> chopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hot yeah. yeah. chop. <laughs> Can I tell you what we should say, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Listen to what we're doing. You understand, yeah? <laughs> oh, Basically, my goodness. Yeah. Um, my role is just to fill him with confidence. He's already mm, so yeah. confident, but he's he young. Is, huh? really he, does, he doesn't know anything. No, nothing Roman can't do. Roman. Yeah. Roman, Roman, Roman is very confident. Don't child. do that. You'll be thinking he's fine. He's not going to do it. In a second, you've turned your back. Roman's already done it. <laughs> yeah. That guy, you can't. Roman so I think, I think is the, power... the most determined person ever. Mm. Mm. If he wants to do something, he's going to do, do it. Yeah. When, if yeah. you ask for your help and you don't give it, don't worry. You'll... Yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to yeah. figure it out. I'll miss you there. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that power comes from you. Yeah. The confidence you have. You know that. You know, you talk about the fear still coming in, but then you know that he's, you know, you're, you're facing each day as it comes and you know mm. that he's going to be able to overcome it. Yeah. yeah. And that filters down into, into yeah. his power yeah. and the confidence that, yeah. you know, he shows. Yeah. And because if you were feeling a bit somehow... Yeah. And he'll, not, he'll, he'll pick up... Yeah, he'll know it. He'll know. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. just to add to that, it takes me back to when you found out mm. and your strength in that moment is like, okay, you were given the news and it's like, I, I don't know how... You manage to do these things. Mm. Stop that. You, I don't know. Like, <laughs> but your strength is always you something. I've. I'm a crier. I'm a crier. Yeah. 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 And I was yeah. really trying. Yeah. I was really. Tr- I, even now, I'm really trying to. Suck yeah. it. I really tried to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but you know, like. She's, she's carrying my child. I, yeah. I tell I tell them very often, these are my children that I'm yeah. allowing you to look after. Yeah. So in, in that moment, I was like, okay, it's fine. Like, you know, like, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> crying. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. But the reality is, the strength that you have mm. to be able to say, okay, this is what God has given us mm. and it's perfect. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And the way you've navigated, the way... Ah, Tokumbo is the research queen. Mm. Anything yeah. I need to know, and this is the she's the one that will go and find the answer and bring it to you. Do you know what I this mean? This is the and, thing about oh, people, yeah. Sorry, like yeah. you know, some people aren't researchers. Yeah, and it, there's some there's some things that can happen that honestly you need to be a researcher. Yeah. And you need, you need I, to it's be like, I'm happy that you're someone who's very. Yeah. Talk yeah. about research. Anything that I'm like, see, that's what's happening. Because I know yeah. she's like, I don't know. I checked yeah. from the blah, blah, blah. As you're blah, talking, she's already looked up. And they said, exactly. She's already looked and up and no answer. it's good because, like you say, you have answers for things to come. That yeah. He's not even yeah. having to deal with today. It's not a place for But Literally. you're preparing yourself. You're keeping yourself up to date with yeah. the changes. Yeah. Is it this? Is it yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. It's important. And so I think, I'm not surprised that Roman is the way that he is. Yeah. Because he, he had no choice. Be, you and Francis. Mm. Because the strength you guys have as a unit... If, um, Roman couldn't have been any other person than yeah, he is. <laughs> Roman, uh, Roman is a a stand strong, no, independent really young is. man. Uh, and I say yeah. young man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've done yeah. a fantastic job. Yeah, I commend you. Hundred percent. And I, I said this to you from the beginning. Like I'm so proud of the mother you are. Mm. You're amazing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's Pretty okay. much, we've got into a bit of a personal thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but back um, to when you're in the hospital, 
And in that moment, obviously... Which moment? When they told me? So when they told you... Mm. and Because obviously, let's be honest, you're saying there's a lot of information, but they're there, they're there, they're there, right? Mm. When they're like, because they, they couldn't tell you exactly what the limp difference no. was, right? What did they say? They just, it she was just says, his hand. Yeah, something, something the hands. like, now looking back, the scan, like, obviously I've seen how his hand is in real life. Mm. It was exactly the same. I've got pictures of the oh, scan. Oh, really? Exactly the same. But I guess so did you, her, did you see for what it was in the scan at the time though? No, what do you mean? Like, could you know see? how it was going to be? Yeah. yeah. It looks because exactly the same. No, so it looks the same now. Now that I've seen his hands. Yeah. But at the time, I didn't know what that was. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, an ultrasound, I didn't know. They couldn't be so. And she yeah. hadn't seen it. It would be right for her to also tell you, oh, exactly, if it's a finger, a thumb. Yeah. 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 But just in case it isn't. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That. But another thing that I think is, like it just can make, go back to your strengths only because it's one thing to give birth to a child yeah it's another thing when people are coming in you're having to counsel and give prep <laughs> yeah like, i'm not even yeah. strong I, this girl was in hospital for time when she gave birth to roman by the way she had one of those in today out tomorrow oh, so really like, yeah, and I'm now having to prep oh, exactly yeah. they've cut her already now she's like oh yeah, by the way before you go the there way, can i tell yeah. you like how was that for you just having yeah. to prep somebody else for something that really you're processing but you haven't processed but you're processing right, also, you know, can, can i add that on top of that question how was it seeing people's reactions as well mm -hmm. so you've already processed and because you've known for a few months no but yeah, you never right. no, no but it's people coming same. and crying the process is still face. different yeah they were crying but it's like i, I don't know I, I don't i i understood do you know what i mean i understood i, I, understood. I said like their tears were my tears do you know what i mean mm. i understood like because it's their you child. Why, you why, I mean? why they would cry, basically. Yeah, yeah. because obviously they're, they're expecting, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they, they, it's different, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, they're mm -hmm. just, it's, they're expect, they're, they're, it's just different. I can't, I don't so, know. So, but what did you say when they were heading to the car? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. When, what, when, like, what? When, when like, people and cousins came to my house, yeah. do you know what I mean? Obviously, he's holding the baby. Yeah. And I had to kind of explain, oh, yeah, by the way, his hand is different. That's mm. it, like, do you know what I mean? Oh, by the way, he only has one one finger on his left hand. Mm. Did you like, feel some type of way? Or did go you... straight. Um, I didn't force that type of way. I just kind of tackled it head on. Yeah. I think when he was now, I don't even it doesn't even cross my mind. Mm. But I remember when I even went to view the nursery, like um his first nursery, mm. we did we did a tour and I was like, oh, so you may have noticed Roman has one finger. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of talk about it. And she's like, oh she didn't notice. Mm. And I think it was then I realised, oh, I guess some people don't notice. Yeah. It's in my head. Mm. Like, really obviously, hands, yeah, yeah. But obviously to me, it's like a big part of who Roman is. They don't know Roman. What's yeah, they don't know anything yeah. about him. Do you know what I mean? So I think I have to realise that also people may see, they may not see. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like just, yeah, like I try and get ahead of it, but actually sometimes I doesn't need to get ahead of it. Yeah. They may, if they don't know this, it's But I think it's also because Roman's kind of child, he doesn't, he doesn't see anything as impossible for him. So he doesn't no. shy away from doing something because mm, yeah. he no, just, he's, yeah. he's so fast. So he probably yeah, in the yeah, nursery, yeah. mum's walked in, he's run to one toy, he's picked up five, yeah, he's walking yeah. around. Like, and he you know what I mean? Five. So, yeah. That's it, and he will hold it. He will hold four and give you one. <laughs> so because of that, I can understand why someone might not straight away say, because you're not, you're not, do you know what I mean? You're not sat in the corner making it seem as though there's a reason why I can't join yeah, in. Exactly. Roman gets involved, which yeah. is really nice. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm grateful. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I'm grateful. And my, my prayer is that his confidence just never knocks. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's no, impossible. I no. want it to be unbreakable. Mm. So that's just what I'm working on. But you know, for example, when in the hospital, you are, you're happy with your child. This, yes. is, this is my child I've accepted, you know, his limb difference. And I'm, I'm joyful that my child's perfect, right? Mm -hmm. When you then joined the uh, community online yeah. and they said, obviously, by the where there's a surgeon you can see have you been in touch with this that, and the other yeah does that kind of rock your thoughts a bit because one minute i'm steady next minute i'm considering something does it kind of not really move you? But because the, the hospital we were already in touch so we already had like an appointment mm. coming mm. so she just kind of gave me extra information for my coming appointment mm. but right. I, didn't, okay. I didn't have to self-refer i was already referred, referred yeah. do you know what i mean it was already kind of part of the process yeah. actually okay your child's born this way you will see people at great almond street even the genetic tests mm. because they were like um He's got two yeah, no, differences. No, no, no. So actually, maybe the, the, the answer question. So what? Where? Where are you from in Nigeria? My husband. Where are you from in Nigeria? <laughs> Could you buy, guys be related by any chance? Wow. Like cousins. That means that they asked mm. a lot of questions and then they ran our genetic test and nothing came back. So it's yeah. just it just is what it is. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. But um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't feel. I didn't. I, I thought I could have the both. Yeah. So I could have a perfect child who we could actually just. Leave as is. Yeah, yeah, or change him, yeah. but it still wouldn't impact his perfectness. Yeah, you know? yeah. Either yeah, way, yeah. he's still perfect. The question yeah. to you now is 
after having Roman, you have Judah now, wasn't it? Yeah. When you got pregnant with Judah, was there that fear that it could happen again? I, I, you know what? I didn't have the fear only because they'd done the genetic tests mm. and they'd said that there wasn't anything. Yeah. So it just is what it was, what it was. Yeah. Yeah. However, I did say, when they were doing the genetic test, I did tell my husband that oh, if it comes back that there's something, actually I don't want to have any more children. Do you mm. know what I mean? And that's a personal decision, obviously. Yeah. Every yeah. parent's different. But for me... I just couldn't, like, I just, it wasn't, yeah, Yeah. this would have been, I said, I already get mom guilt, it's already too much, it just mm. would have, it, it could have driven yeah. me off, like, do you know what mm, I mean, so yeah. I, just, I would have just said, let's call it a day, mm. it's fine, but when it came back, that actually, it was just by chance, I wasn't, I guess, I wasn't worried that Judah would have a little difference, mm. but it did bring the reality that actually, something else could be, does that make sense, because you know this, it's uh, open your mind to the possibilities, ah, yeah, there's so many syndromes, so yeah. many, there's so in this world, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, and everything is like one in one thousand. I think yeah. it's one in one thousand anyway. But one in ten. There's there's, mm. there's different odds. You just don't know. Yeah. You yeah. don't know how the lottery will play. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But what I, as I said, what I do know is that whatever I have, it's right for me. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's gonna it's gonna be it's, it's right for that child. It's right mm. for our family, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be a blessing. So mm-hmm. I kind of have peace with that. Yeah. But it's balancing it up. I think yeah. for that reason. I'm not out here trying to pop out seven, eight kids because to me, that's like increased odds. I, just, yeah. I don't know, it's a lot. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Increased odds. Do you know how I gamble like that? I don't know how serious it is. And it's a lot. But I think it's made, it's, it's given me uh, a real sort of fear that I didn't have before. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So if someone else is pregnant, prayers that I'd never prayed before, now mm. I'm praying. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Things that I never thought of, it's just brought it to my reality that actually, like life is real but that's the thing knowledge like, is power you only you only kind of pray about something that you're you know about yeah, yeah. Do you know exactly. what I mean? you're not going to be concerned about something you have no awareness of exactly. you know what i mean so i suppose yeah. the more you're aware of things the more it kind of you yeah, know it makes, makes it you, real it yeah it makes it real like, that's exactly it. it makes it real because before then i i've never i don't have anybody in my family with i'd never it never come to mind you know mm. what i mean but um, as i said i'm just grateful like my son is just he's perfect he's mm-hmm. he's mm-hmm. Like, He's a character. Like, he is. You know you met him. You don't forget this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you know, you don't know, forget him because right. it's just how he is. Like, yeah. and it's not his hands. It's just him. Yeah. You know, combined. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, why is he like, smiles at you with that lovable yeah. child? Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's but um, yeah, everything happens for a reason. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's mm. that's his passage. You know what yeah. I mean? Like all things work together for his good, mm. and we stand on that. And I've seen that just displayed in his life. He's three years old. Yeah. But I've just seen everything just working out for him. Have you ever? had any experiences of people who didn't really maybe accept it and how um, did you deal with that so not accept it so obviously name the ceremony comes in it and you ask your family members for names in it mm. and some of them gave like a group of names mm. and all of the names were just a bit sad mm. like wow. i swear like, i was just like yeah francis no what do you mean? <laughs> that's like what the meaning yeah besides. they were your other names like what kind of meaning obviously we're I, not talking I, about I, names honestly, i can't even speak. remember but they just weren't. Would it be something like God that heals or something like that? Is that <laughs> what I mean? nah, like, okay, so I don't know like, that name, but something. Yeah, it was like stuff like that. that. It was just like it just it didn't seem like a child, for, a name for a perfect child. Yeah. It seemed like a child for a name for an imperfect child. Mm. So I was just like, yeah, we're not going with this. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Actually, this it just it it wasn't a sad name, but it was tinged with yeah, it was like, linked a, to a delayed, of, yeah. a delayed hope or a delayed something mm. is not. Do you know what I mean? It's not mm. what you name. In happiness, yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we just did a roll with those names. Like, and so how did you f- find kind of dealing with people like that? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that to be honest, it was it was few and far between. Again, okay. you don't know what people say in their own houses or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I'm very much like, yeah, if I don't feel that you're loving my child the way you need to love him, then you don't deserve his time. Yeah, you don't deserve 100%. to be around him. Sorry, like 100%. he's alive. You don't deserve it. That's it. Like, mm-hmm. you don't, there's no more we can go mm-hmm. with that. But yeah, that particular incident was standalone, and with time. That family member is just it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you know what? I haven't had oh I haven't had any problems with like friends or anything. Yeah, yeah, and other children ask questions, but I've never That's heard. That's what anything. I was gonna say. Have you heard them ask questions? Have you? Yeah, 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 but in the nicest of ways. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's all been children that love him though. I yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more curiosity as a person. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, yeah. I was speaking to another mum, and she was saying of a bad incident in the playgrounds. But I think another child was like, "Uh, what's that kind of thing?" Wow. And you just think like, yeah. maybe if I don't fly kick someone. <laughs>
just off the back of that, the incident that sticks in my mind is Isaiah and Roman playing. And Isaiah's like this, like playing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm just being like Roman. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. in the moment, it's like, he's embraced. Okay, like Roman's got six fingers. Okay, me too, I've got six yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's the love that, you know, that yeah. they share. Like, okay, yeah, it's, you, he knows that it's not the same, yeah. but it doesn't matter. It's Roman. Yeah, like, there's yeah. no... They, Roman and Isaiah, they play fight. And I'm pretty sure Roman be having Isaiah up certain times. Like, you know, like, Isaiah be like, stop, Roman man. Is, like, Roman is a strong child. So he be like, what? Roman is strong. <laughs> Forget everyone fighting. Like, yeah. Even before, back in the day, you want to brush his teeth. <laughs> you Roman. You, re- you have to... That teeth is Roman. Roman's got Roman's muscles. Str- Show me your muscles. <laughs> it's like Roman's str- from young, Roman is strong. Yeah, wow, like children, wow, wow, wow. Well, his children around him, we thank God. I guess mm. it stems from us as well, isn't it? Yeah. For us, Roman's one of the kids, isn't it? Yeah, is he any different? Who right? else is he then? Yeah. No, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> who else is he? Literally. Yeah, so the really children like... say, Isaiah is Roman, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm interested to see how that develops in as they get older. Yeah. And, you know, like, is there ever going to be a situation where they're like, actually, what? <laughs> you know, like, what, I wanna, you, what do you like, mean? you know, outsiders. 1,000%, it's, that's not a question. Literally, man. but... <laughs> I know, Micaiah. <laughs> I know even today, I've seen them in parties. Nothing's even happening. Like, no, that's my Roman. I'm like, <laughs> easy one, brother. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> But, but you know, like, nice. they grow up as yeah, family, so literally. you can't touch literally. my own, like, that's, that's, that's just it. Like, okay. And even the Roman in question will use his hands and be like, no, because again, thank you. He's, he's not, like, what I love about Roman, and I don't know if it's maybe an age thing as well, but he's just, Roman's so innocent, he's so strong and he's confident. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you know, yeah. that alone just puts you at peace, that, like, yeah. you're confident, yeah. like, I don't, okay, I almost right? have to, do you know what I mean? I can let you go and play and come back because I know you're good, yeah. like, you're, you will hold your own like, at such a young age. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's yeah. nice. That's actually say Roman was in the corner eating ice, just chilling. <laughs> exactly, with your uncle. Oh, man, oh, man oh, in his oh, business. <laughs> man in his business. But what would you say perhaps to um, mums who, you know, may experience, may have experienced or and also, experience the also, same kind of because you were able to see a consultant that was able to tell you, yeah. usually you don't get that many scans no. in order to be told. Most moms have met. So you don't know that you're Why wouldn't you get that many scans? You only get a 20 week scan. No, but if they know. Yeah, but they know as soon as they notice it. They don't notice it. They didn't notice it at the 20 weeks. They didn't notice it at 20 weeks. So she wouldn't have got another weeks, scan. If Roman wasn't small, she wouldn't have got another scan. Well, they knew, but they didn't know what they should. They didn't notice it. They noticed it at 28 weeks, the consultant. Bear in mind. I'd How are you seen, supposed to check it at 20 weeks? I'd already seen the consultant and she's done they don't. They don't check for, they, they they check check for, for the limbs. vitals. They check for the heart. They check for oh. this, um, like the brain, I the spine. Like All the moms I've met at the REACH, the charity, I've not met one that found out before. They, Maybe yeah. because it was small then. They yeah, because Roman was small. That's yeah. why she, she I had, found I, out. And I had a consultant. Oh, so I had a doctor. Why. Not a sonographer. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I had yeah. a consultant. That's why. But none of the mums found out. They found out when they were yeah. born. Wow. Yeah, and that's just like, it's a shock. That's a shock. Yeah, a lot more of a shock. Having the heads up and knowing beforehand, you were able to prepare yourself Valuable, differently. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And because that shock I is, I, I don't know. I had a scan where, you know, you, you were literally in tears, innit? They said, come and see the Nicky. Yeah, yeah. Come and see. Like, I, sometimes the information that these healthcare professionals give is I think so it's too much. much. It's overloaded. As much as I think but, it's good, no, but, but I still think... No, no, but, but I can't lie. Effect. Sometimes you everyone's different. Effect. Remember, you're someone that can just be like, let me just go with the flow. Mm. Some people, they need to really process, process, swallow it, come back tomorrow, mm. and then but we the go again. Bring her back tomorrow. She's got There's other, other people. Other yeah, she's not the only lady in the whole hospital. Oh, There's other roles. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Give me an appointment for two days. Yeah, well, sometimes it's a lot in one go. Like, you can't, mm. before I've swallowed the weight, the, the, the finger, you now want to take me to come and deal with the weight. And then I come and see little cots and how they, it's like, can I, can I deal with one at a time? Do you know what I mean? Like, so I do think it can be quite whilst it's men in good faith mm. it can be quite overwhelming yeah. it can be quite daunting yeah. so exactly. bring it back to her question well, what, yeah. what i would say if there's anybody maybe you've been told a diagnosis or you have a child just have community like because mm. it's so easy to think you're the only one yeah. but speaking to other people that are going through it that have gone through it longer than you having your child meet other children mm. that are similar to them i just think that's invaluable yeah, yeah. You know what I, mean? like, I haven't met like loads of friends there mm. but the few friends i've made i'm so happy like mm. and i hope that he keeps in touch with them mm. so he's always got somebody to talk to yeah you won't be able to speak to me but even he speaks to them like oh mm. this happened He's got, he's got somebody. Yeah. Mm. I think mean, even if, like, I'm not a big fan of small talk and all that. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> but, but, why did you remind me? <laughs> but if you have to kind of attend the events just for your child, mm. just so that they have 
people they've Commun- gone up yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, 20 yeah. years time, yeah. they can see these people on the street. Is yeah. they've got they've got synergy. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, I would just say find community. Like it's so mm-hmm. helpful. Like if you if you if you if you're not the one to be researching, even in the community groups, they'll give you updates. Mm. This is happening, this is happening. Mm. Like even look at the advancements in sickle cell, do you know what I mean? Mm. But it's being part of those groups that you will know, you know the word on the street. Yeah. Yeah. These trials, this is happening. Mm-hmm. Like we get emails about prosthetics, mm-hmm. this company's looking for a child to a sponsor. Mm-hmm. Again, it's just through being like being being in the know. Mm-hmm. So I would say, yeah, definitely join a charity or a group, attend events, like mm. just to kind of know, like to help. And if you're not in a place of peace, I would 100% recommend praying for peace. Like, because I think mm-hmm. everybody processes things differently. Yeah. Some people are able to just kind of get on with it and just compartmentalize things. Some people mm-hmm. don't. Some people yeah. put it under the carpet. Yeah. Everyone has different coping well, mechanisms yeah. and different yeah. things, you know. But I think it's important to pray for peace. Speak to your family, even if they may not understand it. Just having people around you. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I think, I think it's okay to grieve. Yeah. 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 Your mind, obviously. You expect the child to be A, yeah. but the child is B. B is amazing, but it's just not the A you thought yeah. it would be. Mm. And it's okay. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. okay. allowed to be upset. It doesn't make you any less of a mother. Like, no. It doesn't mean you it's love just your child. It's processing more yeah. so than anything. Like, literally. Yeah. literally. Like, yeah. I think it's, it's what the, the outcome of that. So yeah. after grieving, it's being able to pick this Accept up. And then, yeah. 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 And yeah. push that confidence yeah. into yeah. the child. Yeah. 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 That was amazing. I hope you guys found that really insightful. If you yeah. have any questions for Tokumbo here, let us know. If you've got any suggestions, things that you've done, yeah. um, questions you want to ask us for us to help. Obviously, Tokumbo's the pro here, but we're the community. Yeah. <laughs> He's all of our baby. I'll put their stuff like to the yeah. chat. stuff in the bio. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's it from us today, guys. With love, Mums and Melanin. Bye. Bye.